she says, what to do if I'm at school and so my purity? Can I make wudu and pray? The answer is, when a person is in the state of major ritual impurity and wants to pray, the prayer is invalid until that person uplifts the state of major ritual impurity. And this is done <clears throat> by having ghusl or a total ritual bath. <clears throat> but if a person is unable to do this due to the fact that water does not exist, not available, or in the case of illness that prevents him from using water, in this case, a person refers to what substitutes the lack of water or the inability to use water. And this is known as tayammum or dry ablution, mentioned in Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, verse number 6, and also in chapter number 4, Surah An-Nisa. <clears throat> and this is done by striking the ground, the soil, the sand once, and then wiping the face and the hands. This is how it is done. And then she can pray. <clears throat> so in your case, Maryam, due to the fact that you're unable to use water, you can't take a ritual bath in, at school, most likely. I mean, this is almost impossible. Unless they have the facilities and you have the ability, then it's a must. But if not, then you can do tayammum. Also, person, and this is a similar question, someone who has an illness that prevents him from using water, someone with smallpox, may Allah cure us all from such illnesses and diseases. <coughs> and the doctors say you cannot apply water to the affected areas. In this case, such a person may use tayammum and avoid using water, insha'Allah, azza wa jal.